What I liked most about Tony, and it worked in my favour many times, was his sheer determination and persistence. He would never take no for an answer. And um, two stories come to mind. In 1974, he and I went to our first World Cup in what was then uh, West Germany. And of course the war was still there and West Germany were about to play East Germany in a highly political match. And on the plane over, Tony said, I'm going to do my first piece walking along the Berlin Wall. And I said, well, geez, don't be ridiculous. I said, there'll be guns on one side. And he, he said, don't worry, I'll do it. And he, and he managed to get permission to walk along the wall and do this piece to camera. In 1986, we were in Mexico, and uh, the two of us were both commentating then on the BBC team. And funnily enough, Russia were involved in my first game, and they were involved in his second game. So Tony said, we're going to have to go and watch the Russians play, you know. And I said, well, they haven't got any warm-up matches. He said, yeah, he said, they've got one private game. It's about 240 miles away, and he named the place. And I said, well, how are we going to get there then? And he said, I'm going to hire a plane. And Tony went out and he hired a force... I don't know whether the BBC knew about this, but well, they had to pay for it in the end, I guess. He went out and got a four-seater plane, and the two of us, on our own with the pilot, went out to this place in the middle of Mexico. When we got there, there were some very stern Russian officials saying, you can't come in here, this is a private friendly. And Tony sort of said something about the BBC, and the guy said, oh, well, you better go and sit on the touchline with the coaches then. And we went and watched the match like that. That was purely down to Tony Gubber's initiative. But I just want to say, finally, uh, for 42 years I was friends with him. And it, underneath all that, because um, he could be aggressive when he was working, underneath all that there was this sort of really nice guy, this human being who was a terrific fellow to have a joke with, to have a beer with, and he, he was a proper bloke and a really good friend. Um, and it was a big shock to me that he, that he passed away so quickly, and I, and I really miss him.